I call this meeting of Ohio Kansas Fiscal Court to order um, on this uh, 13th day of uh, July 2021 at 5 p.m. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Sister Ann to lead us in a prayer and a pledge to play. Our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this beautiful day and thank you for the world you've given us. Though at times we need your guidance and we do need to lean on you, help the people that have, we've elected to make good decisions and make them for the best of our county, our state, and our country. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, before you have the minutes of the June 22nd meeting, as well as the, as the uh, special call on June 30th. I make a motion. Uh, motion by Sam Small. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Are there any questions, corrections, or additions? Questions, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign? Motion carried. We don't have the bills and claims on here, Miranda. We'll put them here with the treasurer's financials. There you go. You have bills, claims, payments, and transfers before you. I'd like Those to have a motion to approve those. So motion. motion by Larry Morphew. Second. Second by Sam Small. Any discussion? Any discussion on bills, claims, payments, and transfers? Being none, roll call Miranda. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Cam? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Okay, and before you have the treasurer's financial statement. I make um, a motion to acknowledge. I'll second Sam. Motion by Sam Small, second by Jason Bullock. Any questions or uh, any questions or any discussion? I think that I'm going to add one little quick thing to it. Uh, first time, it's been the goal all along. The first time since we've owned the golf course, we finished out this year actually making money. So, That's good news. hold your fingers so we can do it again. Dustin, you be sure to get that. <laughs> uh, okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign, motion carried. Okay, you have two, uh, three things here from uh, the clerk uh, if she wants to. Uh, Say where she is, if she wants to come up here, it's any way she wants to do it. But she has her uh, a report for the June 2021. I make a motion. Motion for Sam Smile. Second. Second Larry Morphew. Any discussion or questions? To acknowledge. Yeah. To acknowledge. Okay. All favor say aye. Aye. Both like sign. Motion carries. Also, next you have the clerk's quarterly report. The quarterly report from the clerk. Acknowledge, but I'll make a motion. Motion by Jason. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Any discussion or questions for Bates? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Close like sign. Motion carried. Now, now, you stand gonna, up. Right. now yeah. we're going to talk about voting. And I need the money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we've got it. We've got it anyway. So I give you a pack, I got you a packet. And I think if you remember a bit a while back we talked about new voting equipment that the state's really wanting us to get. The equipment we have basically 14, 15 years old. And this year we do not have an election, so it's a good time to look at it so that money can go to our equipment and there also is grant money from the state i do not know how much that each county is going to get but they did tell us we would get some so if you just look in your packet uh i don't know if you're aware there's been a lot of new laws changed for how we're going to vote and what they're going to allow us to do so the first page you may not want to read it all now but this is what we propose to uh State Board of Election at Frankfurt. Now everything has to be approved through the State Board of Election and the Secretary of State of our plan of how we want to vote in our county. 
uh, the State Board of Election uh, Executive Director was in the office a couple weeks ago. He uh, said he loved it, was no problem for him, but he couldn't speak for the Secretary of State. So it's not totally been a, approved by no means, and probably be August for I really know. But if you want to look at the second page, you can see uh, the plan. And you can see up on the left-hand side uh, of the schools that are willing to let us have precincts in there, except now they're going to be called voting centers. So we're going from 19 precincts to six voting centers. But they're still the precincts, but these are just where they vote. They vote in any of these. You will still get a printout of what precinct right. for who voted were, yes. But everybody will be able to go to any of these locations and vote. You do not have to go to a specific precinct to vote. So if you're on your way to Owensboro and you want to go to Living Faith, you can stop in there and go at Living Faith. Where is Living Faith at? That's right on uh, Hoover Hill. Hill, top of Hoover Hill. Yeah. Okay. So there's a location in every district. But you can still show up and you voted in your Yes, precinct. absolutely. So you, you're you, saying Beaver Down person can yes. drop off like You can go anywhere. Place. Well, you can go up. to Ohio County High School and live in Rosie. No, they'll get the ballot from where they live. Right. Yes, it, it will be pretty much what we did last year. The but poll. will it uh, make it longer time to get to final know who won? Or? No. Should not. Now, I've never done this, so this is the first time. Uh, if, if this, too, so if, it should not. If this flies best, uh, have you put the pencil to it? See what kind of savings you're looking at it towards the county. Well, I, just just uh, not for uh, poll workers, I haven't. But just for equipment, you're right about ninety to hundred thousand yeah. dollars right off. Yeah, and yeah. it'll it'll probably be yeah. somewhat close to that as well. Um, as you know, I don't want to give you because I really don't uh, know. But it definitely will be a savings. It's it, any way we go, it's going to be a saving. And you know, the first time that we do this. You know, it may be a little more because, you know, I got to be prepared and I don't know what to expect. You know, I don't know who will be going to which uh, location. But yeah, it definitely will save the county money. Absolutely. How many places will you be able to vote that? Six. 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 Mm -hmm. Six. But if you look at your map, you can see we had 19 precincts, we got six locations. Now, the black dots on your map are where the existing precincts are now. Everybody on this map will be within 7.5 miles of a voting location. Yeah. We have people now 15 miles to go oh. to their precinct, okay? Mm -hmm. So they will have the choice where to go. They're all 7.5 miles except for one household. And that's down in Rochester, my neighbor, and we've talked and she's fine with it. She'll be nine miles. But everybody else is right around 7.5. In my opinion, you can't beat it. No. And, and the size of these grids, that's the bottom of a can of pork and beans, is how you get the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but this is our recommend, yeah. recommendation from the, our county board. Yeah, I take yeah. it the small dots are the existing precincts and the larger dots are the ones proposed. Yes, that's okay. right. And you can see the colors to where the location will be to the color of the circle, okay? So as long as you have your driver's license and that, then they'll know your precinct by where it you're It'll all be computerized. Yeah, because I don't want to be at the Fortsville Diner and go vote and then my vote goes to Larry Cannon. I'd be upset. That's a good suggestion. I like it. So the next page. That's the one we probably Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Vance, for sharing that. With us. Yeah. You're welcome. So when you look at this next page, just keep in mind what we saved by doing this, okay? Well, we talked about, I feel comfortable we can use ARPA money for this. Yes. Okay. And, and also, like I say, we're going to get a grant. I just don't know how much. But what I'd like to ask is, because I've never done this, this is going to be the first time for the state of Kentucky to do it this way. And every county gets a choice to how they want to do it. Yeah. So. I think that the board and I, we've got enough equipment, but I just want you to keep it open. If I am wrong, then I might need something else. But, you know, we've looked at it good, and I think I'm fine, but, you know. Miss, is every county in the state giving this opportunity? And every, the law, yes. up or down, or, or is it mandatory? No, it, it's a choice. choice. Uh, who come up with the locations? 
this state, well, not the state board, our board of election yeah. of the county. There's, they're on the, the sheriff, page. me, and their names on yeah. the front mm -hmm. there. Larry Arnold and uh, Marty Shepard, yes. So, okay, I'm looking at this money and we think maybe ARPA or we think there's a grant. But what, what kind of savings do we think we're going to have by just using this system as opposed to the other? Will there be a savings? Well, just, just, just buying equipment for 19 precincts is probably going to save you ninety to $100,000 because okay. I don't have to have near the equipment. Yes. So then you got to think about precinct workers. You got to, you know, it's going to cut everything. I think the precinct workers is trying to guess maybe ten to twelve thousand in election. Each saving. precinct saving, not each, not each precinct. No. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, and you do that yeah. twice a year usually yeah, sometimes. Year. Yeah. But oh. you got to remember, this first time you may not get it. It's the biggest savings because I'm going to be extra cautious that I'm covered good and people get in and vote quickly. And so I, you know, I may. One a few more, because I mean I've, I've never done it this way. Other than we did it this way pretty much last year, and I will tell you the public that talked to me loved it. It was it was. Smooth. I, I never, to my face, no one ever complained. In fact, they left Ohio County High School and come back in and said, "Can you do this again?" Now the only thing that is mandatory last time we got to have 18 days of early voting. We only get three this time. Uh, do you think that you'll have long lines? I mean, you're just having. No, I don't. I don't. I could be wrong, Larry, but I absolutely. If you was at the high school, if you remember the primary we just had at the high school, no one waited two minutes, if that long. When we did in the general, the high school they were kind of bored. You know, we had one over here at my office. It was busy. Forceful. It was it was smooth. I mean, I didn't know what to expect. It was wonderful. The early voting also we did at the courthouse. We had the outside blow up building. People loved it. So the plan now we haven't got this the board I totally, but we think that we can because we do not want to have the schools to close for those three days. So I think that we can do it at the courthouse. We'll get the blow up building again and. I'm thinking I may have to shut the office down for everything except for voting for those three days. Just a curious question. Uh, have you uh, heard from other clerks uh, how the, or the other you know, election committees, what they're looking at? Saying? You know, everybody's different because of the size. Uh, yeah, I have. You know, Logan County, he had his school district, he has more than one school district. You, you can't almost compare anybody's to anybody because everybody is so different. So that's why the, they changed the law to let us decide what works best for our counties. And it really is good because I'm telling you, last time was, it was pretty awesome. Yeah. The workload, the money, everything. And the people seemed, like I said, they loved it. We see yeah. the best. Yeah. Well, you give me the money, Larry, and we'll get it done. Well, no, that's, that a, that's, a, that's another problem <laughs> yeah. right there. That's the story in itself. No. Uh, Sorry about your luck. But we really, <laughs> no, we really need approval for the money tonight. Uh, well, I would like to go ahead so I know I can get this order because see, I'm gonna have to retrain myself, my staff. I'm gonna have to train every poll worker. Now we know right now it's just July, but you know the time goes fast. People are gonna start ahead. following in November, so I I would like to get it so I can get it ordered and I can get comfortable with this equipment because. I've seen it, but that's about it. Did you say there's some grant? Okay. Yeah, what, what do, you, do you have an idea of? I do not have any idea. The State Board of Elections said they were going to be fair with it. I have no earthly well, idea. What I think we should do is prove it to the, up to that amount, then whatever grant can go to it, toward it, and uh, we, and Ann and I will look into the next shift and pay for it with ARPA, which she thinks we can, and she stays about two weeks ahead of me on all of that. Okay, but then if the grant money comes back, could we use that to fund some of our ARPA product and I'll entertain that motion. projects? I'll have, it. have a motion by Larry <laughs> Cam and a second by Larry Morphew to allow the county clerk to uh, purchase these uh, listed voting uh, equipment from HARP uh, at, at a, up to a total of $166,856 and that uh, um, that will be uh, the, the total cost, realize some of it will come back in the form of a grant. 
You, you, caught, me a, you caught me in a weak moment, Bess. Well, it's about time. It's taking 15 years, right? Is Hart the only one that uh, helps the voting machine? No, there's other companies, but. Uh, the best. Well, this is who I've dealt with for 15 years, and what I'm very comfortable with, they have our bikes. So they're very dependable. I have no worries with them. And had no problem. No, no. And the other companies may be good. I'm not saying they're not. You just, you know what you're comfortable with and who keeps their word and, and uh, yeah. We have a, a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Amen. Then I'll say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Yes. Were we not the first Senate. Senate. state in the country to have the presidential election? Yeah. And I think that had to do with probably with that Senator Lincoln. Bass and everybody yeah. in the yeah. state did a good job. No, it, it, it really did. I was going to say, yeah, we, yeah. we were the first state in the United yeah. States. We, we also close our polls before everyone else. <laughs> I'm trying to get this. <laughs> well, they kind of want to change that, but you're going to try to get poll workers to work longer. Yeah. It's going to be difficult. In that, did you leave that open in case I did any more equipment after my first time? I think I'll be fine, but I want to be able we, to. We gave you that total, okay. so you have up to that. Well, when the grand money comes back, I'll be solid when you come back. And we need to pick that ARPA fund is a federal, uh, yes, you know, money. Sheriff, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Jack, when we get to the ARPA money, that's, we're going to save what money we would use. Is that yeah. not correct? Yeah. Yeah. Some, a whole lot of things. Yeah. Sorry, your bills and claims were further down. That's okay. I mean, we got we got them all back. That's the first mistake you've ever made, Brent. Right? <laughs> 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 I'll take it. <laughs> Larry, I've only got so many bullets in this gun to get you out of here. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll be behind that. <laughs> uh, guys, tonight I have you a list of the surplus property that we're going to bring to auction. I just wanted to update you on that and show you what we had in there, uh, several of those older cars that we've had. A lot of that is uh, drug confiscations <clears throat> through the last several years that have finally been uh, uh, settled in court and we've got court orders for those. Uh, some of it is uh, just equipment that's outdated and it's been uh, at our impound lot. So just wanted to update you on that. I did, uh, as you know, we, we had on the top of that list is a, a Dodge Charger 2016 that was in an accident with one of our deputies and uh, you gave me some money to, to complete a sale uh, purchase with that. Mm -hmm. I did advertise for uh, a new pickup truck uh, for the department. And uh, if you look back in that uh, second page, uh, we got one bid from Polk, uh, uh, Chrysler and Powderly on a Chevrolet 2022 uh, Chevrolet truck. Uh, and then we got a bid from Moore Ford here uh, in Hartford uh, on a, uh, a Dodge pickup truck, uh, which Joel, he would be glad to hear that. Uh, the bid uh, for the Dodge pickup was a couple thousand dollars cheaper. If you'll note in that uh, uh, written, handwritten quote back at the back of the Moore Ford quote, uh, you'll see it in handwriting. And that was the final price, the 344 for the Dodge pickup truck. That is a 2500, which is a three quarter ton. Uh, we decided that that might be a little heavier for us. We're not in that much into pursuit driving anymore. We're more off road country roads uh, that are, are pretty rough. And we've had a lot of damage to, to our cars that we've bought in the past. And, I've even talked with some of the other law enforcement agencies and they say that the half ton Dodge pickup is a little too low to the ground. They're having some problems with bumper ripping off balance and bumpers on those trucks too. So um, with that three quarter ton Dodge, it has a heavy duty uh, suspension, of course, a heavy duty Hemi engine and a heavier suspension. So. Uh, I'm asking you tonight to accept that bid or allow me to accept that and make the purchase of that vehicle. On uh, which one? More uh, more on the more Ford. Yes. Is that in line with the state bids? 
You know, uh, Larry, I hadn't checked, but the last time I checked, I thought it was a little <coughs> bit more than that. I thought it was a little higher uh, than what state contract was. Um, but uh, that that is a few, uh, you know, we put some switches in it that we won't have to buy switch panels and hopefully it'll save us a little money on the equipment going back in it too. And it was advertised. What does that say it's not included? Uh, let's see, is that on the, the last the page? On the Dodge, PP is it PPH? Oh, the handwritten. Yeah. TTL. TTL. Total. total. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't even see it, Jason. What's your? This part right here. On the last page. The very last. <coughs> the very very. <coughs> oh, well, mine's got that in it. I think that's the pole. Bit. I think that's uh, the, the latter part of the pole. Bit. Okay. Oh yeah, it is. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, so that's the, the that's the Chevrolet price. That's GM. Yeah, that's the that's the pole okay. Chrysler quote. Oh. And that's tax title license not included. Of course, we wouldn't pay taxes. That's tax there. title license. Okay. Yeah, tax okay. title right. license. <clears throat> but that's on the Chevrolet. Okay. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. Yes. Is that you so you you guys have already given me? Uh, I think I asked for about sixteen thousand dollars from you. I've got uh, uh, the check, the insurance check from the other total car, and and I had a little bit left in capital outlay that I could make that purchase with. Uh, with these Crown Victorias that we're going to sell, some of those I hope. That'll bring enough money to put equip this yeah. truck of what we and don't have. Dodge Charger should bring relatively. Yeah, good. it's 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 smacked up pretty good, but and you know it has a Hemi engine in it, and the transmission I assume is good too. So I I hope it brings a fair price on there. The last one we sold that was wrecked sold really good on there. Yeah. Um, um, so I guess first thing we need to do is make a motion to uh, allow the. Uh, Surplus properties or surplus. Uh, the 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 three items on the on the uh, surplus. That's what I need to add to that list I gave okay. you. Okay, that's the motion uh, request. That's that. that's the ones that <laughs> Miranda we haven't added to. Uh, motion for Larry Kim to the list. The list. Both, the, both uh, surplus list is presented by the chair. Second. Second. Second, Second by Larry Morphew. Uh, is there any discussion or further questions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. That motion carries. Now to purchase the, the uh, Dodge truck. Okay. Nobody else can do that. You can do that one, Jay. I'll make a motion to accept the Dodge truck. Go ahead and name the amount. It is. What page is that on? It's on the back of that more Ford. 34,400. Okay, yeah. that's what there is the motion. 344. Well, who, who wants to second that? Second. second by Larry Morphew. Motion by Jason Bullock, second by Larry Morphew to purchase the uh, oh, Dodge truck. That's the one we already have the money for. Yes, yes, yes. So, any further discussion or questions for Sheriff? Being none. It's it's in that packet. Being none, I'll say aye. All right. All right. Opposed, like sign, motion carries. It's Thank handy. you all. Appreciate it. I appreciate your help on that. Yeah. Also, with Bess on that other, she's being modest. She done most of that chart, and she came up with a lot of that on her own. So yeah, she's done a lot of that work. That's a good. All right. Uh, now uh, it's not on the agenda, but I'd ask Charlotte to come and give us an update on the occupational tax. I don't think she'll. She's not a one for long speeches. And so I got a feeling it'll be kind of short, but I did ask her to come and uh, give you all an update on occupational tax. Come on, Charlotte. Okay, I'll make it short and sweet. It is from the 19 to 2019 to 2020, we are down from the 20, well, I'm sorry. I should say we are up 20, 2020 to 2021, we did take a dip in 2019 to 2020 because of the COVID. So, 
I don't know what quarters. I didn't. I don't keep track of the quarters. What it is each quarter. I just do it by the full year. So, and even with uh, the rate hike, we were only down sixty. Let's see, I think it was sixty-three, sixty-three thousand eight hundred forty dollars less. That was the nineteen twenty year. And this year, 21, 22. 20, 20 to 21. Right. 20 well, how, how much are we up at this point? Yeah, we are, that's where we're down. Let's see. I'm making my glasses uh -huh. so I can see better. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, so the, I got to have glasses to see if we're. Do you? I'm the opposite. I got to take them off. Okay. So in 2019-2020, it was $3,105,000, just I'm rounding it. And yes. then for 2020 to 2021, it was 3564000 So, but a quarter of that goes to, and that come to $522,870 and some change. So I deducted that off from what it would have been and we were down $63,840. And uh, any indication that post-COVID that we're coming back up? It's coming back up, I think. Um, you know, we had some businesses to close. That's still pretty yeah. good considering the COVID. Yeah. It took, yeah. It took I mean, just to be $63,000 for yeah. my figures, yeah. yeah. I didn't think that was too bad. No, I didn't wait. I know some doubt that Charlotte made it um, out there at Bluegrass Crossings. They, well, we had budgeted 24,000 in net profits. You don't think that's gonna? Yeah, I don't think they, I don't think we'll make anything from them because they consolidated everything into one where they had like four or five different accounts. Mm -hmm. Now they have one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So that's part of the loss. Yeah. That could very well account for that. Well, you right. Yeah. Uh, so. We'll get you come back in three months. Maybe you have better news for us. <laughs> Let's yeah. hope so. All right. Yeah, we we haven't collected. Well, this will be our first quarter in the new right. fiscal year in. So. Thank you. Thank did you. Did any, anybody did that make sense to, for everybody? Or do I need to clarify anything? Clear as mud. Clear as mud. All right. Thank, Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hey. Uh, I'm not budgeting from this. Our budget number is on there. Yes, there's a budget amendment. I forgot to put it on here. Okay. Look, I was working on your flex rods. Which okay, one give, to give me the number for the budget amendment. <laughs> Let's do it for second reading. We've got budget amendment before 20, we do that. 2022-1. Two, two, Miranda. Hey, like, like I said, that. pick your roads or the ordinance. Uh, <laughs> motion by, motion by Jason Bullock to, uh, for, to prove, the, uh, prove the second reading. No, first reading. First reading, a budget amendment, 20. 22-1. Motion by Jason Bullock. I second. Second by Larry Morphew. Uh, Sam, it's the uh, uh, it's where we're amending in the budget amendment for all this new money we're working with. So we're amending in the. Well, it's everything that's left at the end of the year. It's just right. Is it right? Uh huh. And I. Right here. There's some accounts that we carry over, grants and things like that. And then this uh, would also be like the needs assessment that's going into reserves until you all decide what to do. Thank you. I, I actually agree that I just wanted to get out. Okay. Thank you, Uh It's a ordinance, so roll call it. Morphew? Yes. Cam? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Cam? And oh, sorry. How many times are you going to say it again? <laughs> <laughs> what is it, man? <laughs> hey, uh, I'll go ahead and vote it's again. It's been a long two days already. This will okay. be okay. Yes, you got me. Okay, we got that one taken care of. Uh, the next thing is we're going to do these uh, <laughs> well, things that uh, uh, that was brought in from the uh, Wage Committee. And these are, uh, uh, it's listed on here's. Uh, it's personnel, but they're all status changes. And I'm going to start with the first one. Uh, we're changing uh, uh, Charlotte 
uh, Jones. She's been the uh, uh, occupation tax administrator since 2011, and we had never changed her level. <coughs> so we're changing her from higher rate to level two. Uh, the new rate of pay will be $17.22, starting on the 18th of this month. So just roll call, Miranda. We've got a bunch of to do here. More for you? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Cam? Yes. Uh, the next one is uh, Jimmy Ferris. Change is going to come to, from uh, crew leader to assistant working supervisor. Uh, and his pay rate will go from 1677 to 1725. More for you? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Cam? Yes. The next one is uh, Steve Everly. Uh, it's road department is a mechanic. Uh, we're <coughs> changing him from the uh, pay. Uh, okay, this is for the uh, uh, CDL. Uh, we're raising him from 1914 to 1934, effective on the first day of this month. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Count? Yes. Uh, we're also, next we have the uh, Jason Burden, also road department. Uh, <coughs> him from the pay rate of 1652 to 1672 uh, for, uh, he, uh, it was a correction where he had not been paid for having the Class B CDL. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Count? Yes. Next we have Dakota Gill, who hasn't been with us a really long time, but we had uh, we had him still at uh, grade two. We're changing him to grade three, which will bring him to 1650 per hour, effective 7 11 21. And why are we raising him? What skills did he perform or get to raise him? Uh, he added a class BCDL and he added a bucket truck training. And the multi equipment rating. Right. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Judge, uh, this, uh, you know, I want to make it plain for everybody. Joe's not here tonight, but uh, these actually didn't come from the wage scale tonight. They come from the you know, supervisors in which they were, because uh, they're actually the ones that direct these uh, and bring it to. But I think from now on, all position increases or, or changes is going be before the wage scale. Is that right, Judge? Yeah. So it's actually going to be coming before the wage scale committee, so it can be verified and checked that it is uh, official what they're raises and, and yeah. everything that matches. So it's going to be out Right. And tonight, of course, you reviewed it in mm -hmm. along with some of the other mm -hmm. matches. Mm -hmm. um, so that kind of was was the. Uh, First time we actually take it, these two wage committee every time before they bring the court. So supervisors, if you're hearing this, if you turn them in, uh, you better get them in early because it could be a, a, a lapse of a meeting the time the wage committee gets to look at them. But they're going to look at all of them. Uh, next thing I have is. Here it is. Uh, we've had an amendment and some changes to the agreement uh, to on the road uh, closing we're doing out at the landfill. And Justin's recommended. And I want you to, you know, I, I would like for you to uh, make a motion for me to be able to sign these papers. It's for so moved. Motion by our Second. Second Sam Small. Any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Okay, committee reports. Of course, road committee met and um, we did the flex. So I want a motion to reflect that we uh, are doing that. Hold on. Second. Motion by Larry Morphew, second by Larry Camp. 
That's the first thing on the on the committee reports here. It's in discussion. We did that. In the ben, ben, we oh, did have a road committee meeting and talked about this. I'll pay that. I'll pay that. Can we get uh, in there authorize every one that. of you to sign it as well when it gets here? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That we'll put that in the motion. And then, so if it's not having a court meeting when this is signed, we can get it to you anyway to sign it. Resolution 2022-1. Yes, write that in the minutes. Okay, that's approved. Uh, any other committee reports tonight? The uh, mental health committee being, uh, I just want to advertise that the county, that our committee, uh, the Ohio County Mental Health Suicide Awareness Committee, they are putting a free training. Uh, it's going to be at Ohio County High School. It's for students, parents, anybody can come. It's at the Ohio County High School, high school at 6 o'clock on July 27th. It's called um, QPR training, uh, suicide prevention. And uh, QPR, just in case you want to know, because it's uh, question, persuade, and refer. So if there's anybody uh, interested, you're more than welcome. It's at 6 p.m. on July 27th at the high school, and like I said, it's for it's age appropriate, so uh, you can high school um, adults, uh, students, staff. It's for anybody. You did say 27th. The 27th of July. <coughs> we hope to have a good crowd. And what night of the week is that? Tuesday. 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 That's your court meeting. It's at six o'clock though. I, there's people there. I'm gonna yeah. Uh, we can leave and go straight from there. But okay. Okay, good deal, and uh, uh, that's great. Any other committee's report? Uh, we don't have a magistrate on the ARPA committee yet, which I want to point one. I'm on. Come in. You are, I'm sorry. Can you give that report? Well, we just met and kind of got, what we did is, and had a map on how and what we can spend this money for. We, we've got a total amount where looking into the spend just this year, it could be more, it could be. So what we did is we looked over everything that she had and we kind of, Ann kind of looked at we about five things that we were really interested in. We have a meeting on the 20th, is that right? To come back again and kind of decide how and what we can use these funds for. And there's two sets of funds, like you're looking at the ARPA funds on your needs assessment list. And this is money you can use in other ways in the community. But there are strict restrictions on how you can use it where I think the other money is a little bit more, it's just kind of reimbursement and we can use it for certain ways. But these are ways hopefully we can uh, make our community better with some things we're looking into. But we've narrowed it down to a few things we want to look into and we're coming back in 20 and see what we can spend it on. Where do you all have that meeting? At the uh, old courtroom. What time is it? 2.30? Mm -hmm. 2.30? Yes, of course, if any other stuff you could come, it's fine. That'd be it's good. open. It's open if you have to make it. But it's all kind of new because, so, I think Ann studied all the time what we can and can't use the money for, you know, federal money. Oh, yeah. Is. Every, every day we're but, uh, into that. Um, she'll research it and brings me a Ann, do you want to say time. something about that? And, and it's, it's a moving target for us. Mm -hmm. uh, everything changes. So uh, we have a lot of great ideals, but it's kind of like how do you get somebody to manage those ideas? That's but, the kind of thing we're running into. But as this thing evolves, mm -hmm. Sam, as this thing evolves, it's getting better all the time, not worse. So we're yeah. finding better things. We, I, mean, I mean, it's getting where we can do things we want to do that we didn't think we could do before. And we're gonna keep y'all uh, uh, updated every, every meeting. If I can keep talking, don't tell me what we'll get. Uh-uh. There you go. Yeah, uh, one thing that we said today, uh, we're gonna be, as y'all seen on the sheet too, we're actually gonna be able to provide a deputy for the sheriff's office, but he's liable to have to write it up like he's uh, controlling guns or something. Because that's what got the law enforcement in there was that uh, the president thinks we need to have more uh, control on the gun. So I think the sheriff says he knows where there's a saw off 410 shotgun he's going to go get. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's.
a little humor. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, the, the, the only point I was making there is this thing's evolved to do things we didn't know we could do before. It changes all that's why we kind of just got together put our heads together what we thought we would like and just because we thought we might like it we don't know yet still if we can do it okay so any, any other committees man uh the uh, uh larry and uh, jail committee hasn't met but i really think you probably will by the next meeting uh his uh david while we're on that now we're gonna i was gonna bring it up but uh, have you talked to your fellow judges in other counties and yes. they submitted uh, what the, the gentleman requires? And They're working on getting the information together to the operational costs. We were the first ones to get ours to him. He's done some other things on the study, but he's needing those. And he's actually going, the study guy is actually going to come down and meet the committee. Okay, good. That'd be, not, that'd be nice. If, when, if and when that comes about, well, certainly let me know. Of course. When will they? possibly start looking for some property to hopefully by the end of this year uh justin prices yeah yeah justin and larry the one is any y'all talk any more on the broadband i'm not aware of a, another meeting that uh i think uh, jody was on vacation for a little bit okay. so, so jody i think when yeah. when she gets back from vacation i think the intention is i think she's back i think she's back now but she okay. has been on Oh, okay. Well, so I'll maybe work. setting something up pretty soon. I'll remind her of that too. Uh, any other committee reports? If not, we'll make the COVID-19 update. We're going the wrong way in the last several days. We've been going, getting a little better like everybody else, but we've had an uptick. Uh, and of course, in the road bent committee meeting, we talked about a little bit and we have no proof that it's connected to any variant but because it is going up and we know that variant is spreading we suspect that it is but we don't know that that, that it is that that's what it is uh, so uh, we got to be on our guard all the time but i will say this even though a few people that were vaccinated has gotten it um even folks you know but uh overall it's still 95 percent of the new cases are people that have not been vaccinated 95 i just talked to clay horton who is our uh, supervisor of the uh well he's the director of the green river district health department uh he's uh he said for sure that even though these new cases are coming out like this it's still 95 percent of new cases are unvaccinated people so that's still, it's still urging us to uh, uh, give it. I'm trying to do the percentage of, of our group here that's what is, uh, what, that are vaccinated. What's five, six, of a hundred? Anyway, that's our, Larry, you're going to have to get vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, why are you? <laughs> so a uh, high percentage of the court is vaccinated, by the way. But, uh, <laughs> We, our community as a whole, we're, we're coping with things, and uh, and uh, we, we will we will get to where we don't have. I think the good news has come down in the last few weeks. People that have had COVID has a longer time of resistance than recently thought. Uh, maybe even very long term resistance from actually having COVID. So. Uh, uh, that's where uh, that's where we at. Now then, let's go to the master's comments. Sam, uh, I don't know anything. Jason, I got a little section of road I want to extend. Uh, it's Horton Spur. Uh, approximately, I don't have the measurement yet, but approximately five to six hundred feet. And we do have all the easements signed. Um, it's a gravel road. It won't be for long though, I'm sure. Please. I don't like gravel roads in my district. It won't be. But, uh, and I guess that we, we, I brought the papers in and we kind of, we didn't have all the papers signed right. Right. Did we, did we ever view that, have a viewing committee set up for that? So do we need to set up a, I mean, do you have to set up a viewing committee for, a, for an extension? extension? I, I think you could do it, take it in, 
subject to the Jed Committee's report. They actually have looked at it, but they've not turned that. So you can say they did, but we we messed up on some of the, we signed the wrong papers. But uh, you did get the email with the easement signed yes. and all the papers. Yes. Okay. It's just 500 foot? Uh, it's five, 600 foot somewhere. It takes in four what residents. Whatever's been sent or right. whatever's been sent. Yeah. So we need that in a motion? Yeah, he made it. Uh, oh, five seconds. Motion by Jason Bullock to take in a section <coughs> of Horton Spur, extend the Horton Spur by from five to 600 foot. Uh, and uh, all easements are signed. Subject to all easements being signed. And viewing approved. Approved. Yeah. And it takes in four houses. <coughs> yeah, that's, uh, there's four. I think there's four. Is there four papers? Yeah. Okay. So, so who, and Larry, it goes to Annette Garvey's. It ends at her, her drive. It does. Yeah. Larry, Larry Moore, if you second, did you get that, Miranda? Yeah. Larry seconded. So, uh, any more discussion? Jason. Yeah. Is it a dead end? Is it a dead end? Yeah, it dead ends at uh, Annette Garvey's residence. This one's got the coast stack on it. Lions all live. That's what it is. Not yet. A little humor, right? Yeah. Okay, all folks say aye. Aye. Both like say aye. Jason, you got anything else? So, Larry. No. Larry. Justin. No, thank you. Anybody in the general public got anything for the good of the. Oh, Miss. I just appreciate the sheriff's compliment, but I have to say, Jason Chen had a big hand in it, too. So. I can't take all the credit. Yeah. Yeah. He, he knows how to run that map. Very good. Very you're good. Being, Teamwork. You're being Teamwork. modest, I suppose. Yes. You're being modest, very modest, of course, to Tracy. Well, Jason, big help with us all of us. See if Randy has anything to say. Yes, I did have. I kind of wanted to give you an update on, uh, on my situation. It's. Uh, not good. I'm kind of disappointed. I talked to Charlie Shield last Tuesday, and he assured me he would contact FEMA and see if we're moving ahead. And uh, I contacted him today, and he said he hadn't. He did say he's, uh, I believe, going to Lexington the 22nd of this month for something, and he would hope to uh, get some news by then. In turn, I talked, I attempted to talk to uh, Larry Hagen. Hydro Protect, and the first time I didn't, I got his uh, answering machine. And uh, but I'm just trying to keep abreast of this thing because it's. Uh, I tell you, it was scary the last couple of days. We all had a lot of rain. We had three and a quarter inches at the farm, and thank God the water didn't get out. I don't know how it did, but I tell you that river, you couldn't even tell I had a log jam. It was completely bank full and of course my property was running down the river uh you know that river uh a judge you've seen it larry's seen it uh that river is probably 400 feet wide there so uh, uh i i did want to ask you has there been any movement any any another meeting for the river committee or anything like that no it's, it's in the works the research is being done and there will be another one i and talked to my farmer yesterday Told, gave him a good report on the crop and we weren't flooded because I figured we were and I gave him Kevin Henderson's phone number uh, from uh, Grayson County and I explained to him of course nobody from our end of the county was at the meeting uh, they weren't contacted I I didn't contact anybody it snuck up on me but that won't happen again but he is I, I explained it all to him and he owns a little property he he bought a farm on 54 in Grayson County, just, just up the road. So he's in on it and he's with it. And uh, he was gonna call Kevin Henderson and tell him to uh, try to get involved in it. And uh, I do wanna keep our bridge on Shreve Road before the court. It's, uh, it's not getting any better. Uh, Larry did get a guide board put on it. They came out and put that board on, so I appreciate that. And uh, uh, I just want to, uh, just tell you guys how much how much I appreciate you trying to help me on this thing because I mean I you know I, I hate it that we had this I've heard of June rises all my life but we had a July rise and of course that hurt the Narrows Road 
project big time, whether I work in construction all my life, weather will just, it'll just tear you up. It'll just tear you up. And, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, we get something through on my project. And like say, thank you. Well, I think they will, and it's uh, the whole Rough River deal. I'm sure hoping we can get a district set up that will uh, pursue this while the federal money's there. And we're talking about many millions of dollars to dredge that whole river, but that's what's going to take to fix it. Needs, it needs to be done, and uh, I was also impressed. I this whole new deal now, with everything's different, but like them saying they got to go up to tributaries a ways too. It makes complete sense. Makes complete sense, but it's a big job. Okay. Thank you, sir. Anyone else got anything for the good of the body? If not, we stand adjourned. Thank you.